Hi, it's Rod, and this one's called God's Way to Be Happy Now. Well, it's like if you don't like your now, you can't be very happy now. So you gotta like your now to be happy now. And you gotta like God to be happy now. The Bible says rejoice in the Lord always. That doesn't say just sometimes, or you gotta wait to do it. Always. The Bible says that in God's presence is a fullness of joy. So there's some things we have to believe in order to be happy. We got to believe that God is real, that God is good, that God is loving. That God is like a perfect father or a perfect husband. That he's in control. That he's just. We can forgive others for what they do to us and let God punish them perfectly. We don't have to punish them. We need to believe that God is helpful and guiding. He can speak to us. He can direct us in his best will for our lives. He can teach us truth to believe in. Teach us the way to be happy. Teach us the best way to live for success in this life. We need to believe that God is our source of fulfilling happiness now. It's like there's two ways to be happy. God's way to be happy and Satan's way to be happy. <laughs> Satan's way to be happy doesn't work. God's way to be happy does. The truth works, the lies don't. So, Satan's way to be happy is like, try to get your happiness from the creation rather than God the creator. And it doesn't work very good. God's way to be happy is to get your happiness from him, spiritually, not from the world physically. And it will fulfill you. There's love, joy, and peace from God's Holy Spirit. <laughs> it's like, when you stop trying to make yourself happy and let God make you happy, you find what true happiness is. But then there's other things you have to do also. You have to want to obey him and believe his way is best and receive his power to do his will. And it's like hearing God say to you, I like what you're doing is the way to happiness. When you make God happy, you make yourself happy. But like I said, we're in this kind of spiritual war with Satan and he doesn't want us being happy now. One of his greatest lines is, you can't be happy now. <laughs> or you can't be happy now with God. He says you always need these things for the world. Sex, drugs, rock and roll, money, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> to be happy and you don't need any of that stuff. Like as long as all I need is Jesus to be happy now. All I need is to put my mind on good God to be happy now. But Satan will say stuff like God can't be good in an evil and suffering world. And we got to fight him back with God's truth that this is God's best choice for us, this evil and suffering world. We can't have love without a free will of choice. And most people are choosing to be evil and God wants it that way. But he also wants to help the righteous out when he's punishing the wicked. It's sort of like he could bless Noah, but punish the wicked people around him. So sometimes I think I gotta live like, trying to be like a happy Noah. <laughs> I'm trying to obey God. The people around me aren't trying to obey God. But I can be happy. They can't really be very happy. It's like before I got saved, I was trying to find my happiness from the world, Satan's way, it didn't work. Finally, I said, there must be more to life than this. I still haven't found what I'm looking for. And then I started looking into Christianity and God as a source of happiness or love and found it. And uh, it's I found it's the only way that fulfills spiritual love joy and peace not stuff you can try to create yourself with junk food or entertainments or drugs or alcohol or sex or whatever or money being close to god's the way to happiness and success it says in the bible in god's presence is a fullness of joy and uh, people can find that it's like uh, if we believe in the work of jesus's cross it can make us find happiness it's like i gotta it's like god's trying to help wicked people to become righteous people 
if they want his help to. And those who do seek his help to get their sins forgiven through the cross, get the perfect righteousness of Christ on them so they can go into the presence of the Holy God. <laughs> it's like we come boldly into God's presence through the blood of Jesus. And that shows us how much God loves us, the cross, how much Jesus loves us, the cross. God is invisible, but we need to believe he's real and that he's got the power to help us. God wants to give us a new heart and a new spirit that wants to help us to think like he does and act like he does. And he rejoices in that. <laughs> and uh, it's like God puts out with this evil and suffering world with billions of wicked people just to find a few brides. It's like Jesus said, only a few enter the kingdom of heaven. Most people go down the broad road of destruction into hell. But he thinks it's worth it. It's like, if God didn't drown all those people in the days of Noah, they would have murdered each other and murdered Noah. There'd be nobody left alive on earth. But because God intervenes in wickedness sometimes to save the righteous through it, Noah was able to continue living. The human race was able to continue living. Jesus was able to be born in the future and save us through his death on the cross. So God has to wipe out a lot of wicked people sometimes for the good of his bride. And God's trying to find a few bride in the midst of multitudes of his enemies. And uh, that's God's best choice for us. So it has to be a very wicked world, but it doesn't have to destroy our happiness. It's like you need a truth meditation, like I have to live in an evil and suffering world, but God can help me through it, bring good out of it for me, make me happy in it, help me not to be bothered by it, and keep fighting Satan off, who's always saying, you can't be happy now, God's not good now, and stuff like that. you got to believe God is always good, he never changes. You can rejoice in him always. So if you want to believe the right things and do the right things, you can be filled with love, joy, and peace. You can hear God saying, I like what you're doing. You could be on your way to an awesome heaven after you die, so you're not fearing death, and you think it's reward time. You think it's, I got a great career in heaven waiting for me. I get to get out of wicked land and get into heaven land for eternity. Instead of going to hell for the people who don't want to believe in God or get saved by God. Or... So the work of the cross of Jesus can take our sins away. It can bring us into the presence of God through the blood of Jesus. And in God's presence is the fullness of joy. <laughs> Trusting that God is with you. Your perfect protector. Your perfect provider. You don't have to worry about money and stuff like that. God can always supply what you need. God can keep you safe in a fiery furnace, a lion's den. He can give you billions of dollars if he wants to. He can just make you happy because he's real and he's so great and awesome. And uh, some of the things we can do to obey God to please him would be to pray study his word and learn truth from him and try to teach truth to others even though they may not want to learn it you're like a Noah sometimes you keep preaching to people get saved get happy from from salvation but they don't want to listen to you and they want the Satan's way to be happy instead and it does make him very happy But uh, you're just responsible for your own choices, not other people's choices. You can be happy even if nobody else wants to be. You can be saved even if nobody else wants to be saved. So that would be a bit about God's way to be happy now.